Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today we are out wildflower hunting again, and today we're looking for one that's actually pretty abundant, so it won't be too hard to find it, but it's called the London Rocket. A lot of people I don't think have heard of this one. It's actually invasive. It came from Eurasia, but we're going to go look for some today. It's actually going to be found a lot in shady areas, so like underneath the creosote bush, the palo verde, the ironwood, they're really found in abundance underneath these uh, little plants here and trees, and they're also three feet tall, so it's really hard to miss them, but they're really oddly shaped. So let's get down and take a closer look at them. All right, guys, here's a whole bunch of London Rocket. It's all, as I said earlier, that they like to really grow underneath bushes and shrubs and trees and stuff. In this case, it's an ironwood tree. So all these little spindly plants that you see right here are the London Rockets, and they really like to take over areas. So as I said, it's really not too hard to locate them. Uh, the first reason they're really uh, popular is because, well, they're invasive. So they came from Eurasia some while ago. And the second reason is actually because they are actually one of the first plants to bloom, and they outcompete a lot of the native flowers. So they usually bloom as early as January or February. So trying to identify London Rocket in the field is actually pretty simple. As I said earlier, it's one of the first plants to bloom as early as January. And also it's a very strange looking plant. So some things you're going to look for. First off, it forms a rosette of leaves on the ground. And those leaves are usually about six inches long. And they're green on both sides and they're really deeply lobed. And they also have a center vein on those leaves that are white. So now as you move up the flower stalk, there's also going to be more leaves on that. They're going to be usually about the same as the ones down below. They're just going to be a little smaller. They're oblong and they're alternate, which means there's going to be one leaf on one side. You'll go up a little bit and there'll be a leaf on the opposite side. So another easy way to identify the London Rocket is actually by its flowers. To tell you the truth, most plants you really don't want to go by the flower, but this one's actually pretty different. So they're all usually held in a cluster at the top of the plant and they're a fourth of an inch. So they're just really small flowers, but there's gonna be four petals on each of them and they're gonna be yellow. So most plants that have four petals in yellow will be in the mustard family, which the London Rocket is a part of. So another great way to identify it is actually the height of it. They can grow up to be over three feet tall. As you can see this one, it's probably a little bit over three feet. So they kind of tower over the rest of the flowers. So if you needed one more great way to identify the London Rocket, it's actually its fruit. So if you look at this, you might think it's just its leaves are really thin or something when you look at the top of the plant. That's actually the fruit. The fruit actually forms, and sometimes it actually grows up taller than the flowers itself. They, they grow in uh, long, slender uh, little tubes. They're about a one and a half inch long by about one twenty-fifth of an inch wide, and they are pointed straight upward. So sometimes, as I said, they grow like up over the flowers. All right, guys, now that we know how to identify the London Rocket, you may be wondering what's up with the name and where did it come from? Well, I'm going to tell you. So there was a great fire of London in 1666, and after that fire, there became a great abundance of this plant. And they were all saying that before, there was none of this plant, and then afterwards, it was everywhere. So that's where they got the term London from. So now Rocket is actually from a different thing, and that uh, the term Rocket is actually derived from an old Latin term of Eureka, and it is applied to several loosely related plants that are in the cabbage family. So they put them together and you ended up with London Rocket. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And we'll see you guys next time at P.O.P.